Aarhus Fen produces water to Aarhus Municipality and supplies some of the best drinking water in Denmark. Aarhus Ven also treats the waste water of the municipality with a 2,600 km sewer system and four large purification plants. No fewer than 30 million cubic meters of rain and wastewater is treated by Aarhus Ven every year before being sent back to nature. Aarhus Ven has a long-term strategy for the improvement of the water quality in Lake Brabrand, Aarhus River, and the port of Aarhus. It involves continuous modernization of the entire sewer and purification system to ensure that Aarhus is ready for the climate changes that are already on the way and will result in more frequent and heavier downpours. Part of the strategy is to extend the capacity of the network. Separate sewer systems, for instance, means that rainwater will not be mixed with wastewater. This way, the purification plants will not be burdened with large amounts of rainwater. In case of heavy downpour, there's a risk that the return system will be flooded. Therefore, Aarhus Fen has built a number of retention tanks, where rain and wastewater will be collected and stored until the sewer network and the purification plants have the capacity to handle it. With retention tanks, you prevent that sewers, low-lying areas and cellars are flooded during torrential downpour, an otherwise costly and troublesome affair for the citizens of the municipality. To reduce the number and size of the very costly tanks, Aarhus Ven has chosen a smart solution that makes use of the latest technology, a solution which is much cheaper. Since the amount of precipitation varies throughout the municipality, the wastewater system has been divided into zones with their own tanks. A radar registers the current precipitation and predicts the amount of rain an hour ahead of time in the different areas of Aarhus. Here, rain is approaching Troibor, outside central Aarhus. The radar data is then processed in a computer, which monitors the entire wastewater system. By measuring the wastewater flow to the purification plant and the water level in the tanks, the computer is able to adjust the strain on the purification plant. Right now, it's raining in the Troibor area, and wastewater is led to the purification plant through central Aarhus. Now, the radar is registering the predicted rain over central Aarhus. The computer calculates that with the predicted precipitation, wastewater cannot be sent through central Aarhus, as the wastewater would run into River Aarhus. Therefore, the computer shuts the wastewater pipe and instead leads the wastewater to the tank in Troibor, where it will be kept until there's room at the purification plant. Everything is automatic. This smart solution ensures that the purification plants of the entire municipality are regulated as one unit. In other words, optimal use of the total capacity. The system has an optional bathing water warning, an app for smartphones, which offers information on the current bathing water quality in the entire municipality. We are talking large but necessary investments in order to counter the challenges of climate change. With these future-oriented solutions, we're already on the way towards reaching our goal of improving the bathing water quality in Lake Brabant and the Port of Aarhus, as well as considerably improving the water quality in Aarhus River. Water.